am making cinnamon rolls. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, so I'm making cinnamon rolls for my partner's mom and sister. Now, obviously, Mother's Day will have passed by the time you are watching this, but I hope you were able to do something special with your mom. Speaking of which, shout out to my mom, happy Mother's Day to her, and thank her for this because I actually don't even know how old this KitchenAid is, but it was hers, and when I moved out, we got her a new one, and I got to keep this one. So I'm so grateful to be able to have one of these. If you don't have one of these, everything I'm doing can be done by hand. It just takes a little bit longer um, and a little elbow grease, but a little work never hurt no one. I'm going to set my tea aside, and we're going to get started. And first I'm going to start out by mixing the warm water, yeast, and sugar to set aside and let it foam. I just want to check and make sure that the yeast is alive because I've had it for a little while in my fridge and uh, I hope it still is. <laughs> like y'all saw, I made tea earlier and I let this sit on the stove for a while so now it's, it's pretty, it's warm. I'm going to take the temperature just to make sure it's good but it should be around 100 degrees, so just a little bit over body temperature. If you just wanna, if you don't have a thermometer, just poke your finger in there to see if it's about body temperature, or a little bit over. Okay, I'm just gonna pour my sugar and my yeast. It already looks like it's starting to come up. All right, so a little bit about this recipe. This is actually the cinnamon roll recipe I got when I was in high school culinary. Shout out to Miss Owens, my high school culinary teacher. But, of course, that recipe wasn't vegan. That class wasn't vegan. We were just cooking and baking and learning about food. So my challenge today is to take that recipe and make it vegan. And after measuring out all of the ingredients, my guess is going to be that a going to need a little more moisture, but we'll see. That's just my little, that's my theory right now. We'll see when it comes together. So, that being said, I'm going to mix a little bit of warm water with my egg replacer powder, just following the instructions on the box to make two eggs. This egg replacer that I'm using says to mix it up right before you are ready to use it. Just double check the instructions on your egg replacer or if you're using a flax egg, obviously you do have to let that sit for a little bit. But I'm using this one because it, it acts a little bit more like eggs chemically in baked goods. All right, I made some instant pudding mix and popped it in the fridge. I'm gonna check on that now. If y'all want my homemade instant pudding mix recipe, which makes great gifts for Christmas or birthdays, put it in a little jar, little recipe card, you have the dry mix, they just add almond milk. I'll be sending that recipe out in a email. That'll be my an email list exclusive along with this full recipe and some of my trials and errors with this vegan version a little more explained. So pop down in the description and sign up for free recipes straight to your inbox. And you can also grab the recipe for these cinnamon rolls with a link down below. Okay, so I have my homemade instant vanilla pudding, butter, egg replacer, and this yeast is getting very large. We should go ahead and mix this up before, before it starts to bubble over. until the dough is 
springy when I poke it. Start off low, mixing it all together. If it is a little bit dry, I'm just gonna add a little more water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready over here. Like, like there's a pile of 
Goodwill stuff, there's art that needs to be hung, there's art that needs to be sold. By the way, I'm going to post those up soon, but I'm selling two pieces of art that I did quite a few years ago, but they just don't really fit the modern, contemporary, natural colors, black and white that we are going for in this place and that, that I want to strive for in my adulthood. I love them so much and I love the color schemes in them and they work really well together, but uh, we just, they don't fit into our place and we don't have a vision for them in the future. So I'm, one, I'm going to let these paintings go, sell them off. I used to really want to sell art and I never did. Like, that was one of the reasons I moved to Austin, Texas, was I, it was, it's an artist town, I, I could sell my art here as like a side thing, and I just, I stopped creating canvas pieces because I got so busy with other things, and I might start doing those occasionally when I have the time, but these were pieces that, I didn't even think any of my paintings were any good. I didn't think any of my, like, canvas art was any good until people would come into my home and make comments on specifically one of these paintings. People would make comments on this one painting and they could tell me the emotion I was feeling when I painted it. Seeing their interpretation of it and how sometimes it was the same as what I was thinking when I created it and sometimes it's completely different but so true to who I was at that time. It's, it's so different and incredible that my art I feel like has been deemed worthy and people do the whole different interpretations. I don't know. It's something that I'm still very self-conscious about, but I'm ready to try and sell these two pieces and if that does well, then I will make more to sell <laughs> instead of just make pieces for myself in my own house because that actually kind of sounds narcissistic, but it's because I like to create and that's what I do for you guys on here and on social media. I Create. Artist at heart, doesn't matter what the medium is, I'll pick it up and I'll make something happen. Frosting! Okay, dropping a lot of names in this one. Khalifi Farms Almond Milk, it's our favorite, we always get vanilla. Kite Hill Cream Cheese. Miyoko's Butter. Maggie's Micros. It's Mother's Day, we're going to bring out the special vanilla. Vanilla made from bourbon. Y'all, this company, we get it at the farmer's market. So cheap. It's the cheapest vanilla that I've ever found besides making it yourself. Now don't get me wrong, I have made it and it's easy to make, but I really like supporting local companies and if they're making the vanilla locally and it's this cheap and they have different alcohols, mm, 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 yes please. They also have vanilla sugars and different flavors of sugars as well. I'll leave links for all of this down in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the butter and the cream cheese in the bowl, beat it up with a paddle attachment, and then we'll add the powdered sugar and the milk and vanilla. It's gonna be delicious. And I'm just gonna store this in my fridge until I'm ready to use it tomorrow. So I will take it out, kind of mix it up with my rubber spatula, and then drizzle it on top. It'll melt onto the warm cinnamon rolls. Can you smell it now? I can smell it now. That's probably because I already mixed the filling, which is easy. Just brown sugar, cinnamon, butter. Mix it all together. I popped it in the fridge. Sorry, I didn't show you all that. It's fucking easy. It's three things. Mix it together. I melted the butter, then I mixed it together and stuck it in the fridge. I guess you don't have to do that. You can use room temperature butter, but it won't make a huge difference. Oh, okay. So. Going back in. 
are still a little chunky. I'm sorry if you can't understand me. I just realized I was saying everything together. I'm giving it a scrape down. Pretty sure I just got some on my glasses. Alright, that's pretty smooth. Now I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar in thirds. On a slow speed. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to get a little 
little cup of water so that we can seal it. And I'm going to go ahead and rub some coconut oil into this pan. And we're going to give her a little, little flowering. And my little cup of water. Is it weird that I want to roll it towards me instead of rolling it that way? I feel like I probably should roll it. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be normal. So I've had them pulled out for about an hour, coming to room temperature. They've gotten really nice and big. I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the oven for probably about 45 minutes. Just to make sure it's actually done in the middle because these are going to turn out really doughy. But my partner and I like that. So I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit, and then once they're just warm, spread the icing on top. Look at these guys. We're gonna drip some frosting on them now. Y'all remember how thin the frosting was last time? Now it's thick. We're just gonna do one dollop on each cinnamon roll and let it melt down into it. Thank 
thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check the description for all the links and the full recipe to make these glorious cinnamon rolls. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Thank you all for watching. Bye! Oh no, it's dripping with insides!